Hey everybody, Anish Majumdar here, career coach of the Fiercely Ambitious. Hope you're wherever you are that you are having a lovely day. I'm going to tell you guys right now, a, a whole bunch of you are probably going to be a little pissed off at this video because I'm going to be taking a hatchet to um, a myth that uh, more people need to be taking a hatchet to, quite frankly. And the reason I think that some of you watching this might get pissed off is because in any myth, there's a comforting fantasy. In every myth, there's a little sense that, hey, you know what? Wouldn't that be nice to know? You know what I mean? Wouldn't that be nice to know? The worst company in the world, you get one good boss or one good coworker, they're not all bad. Maybe there's a way for me, right? That's the, the lie that we need to get beyond if we're serious about taking ownership of our lives, our professional destinies, our career. And what is the lie that I am talking about today? What is the big one? Here it is. Hey, work your way to the top. We can't give you what you want right now. Come on in, make your impact happen. If you're who, as good as you say you are, you're just gonna work your way to the top. One day you're gonna be the CEO of this company and everything's gonna be hunky-dory. That's the myth that has to go, okay? And let me just um, give you guys a personal um, perspective here. You know, I made my bones and I continue to make my bones as a career coach, not in some esoteric theory. I work one-on-one -on -one with people just like you every single day. And now having worked with the better part of 2,000 people um, over 10 plus years, I can tell you that the number of people I have spoken to who have successfully worked their way to the top, maybe two, maybe two. Everyone else and the vast majority has gotten screwed over by falsely believing that crap. They have wasted years of their life. They have wasted energy they could not afford to waste. And now they regret it. Now they feel angry and dare I say it, towards some companies embittered because they were basically lied to, right? And when they finally got beyond the, the lie, years had passed, they had families, they had obligations, they had all sorts of adventures and things that they wanted to capitalize on that they just couldn't because they were resting their hopes and dreams on this idea. Somehow my value will magically register and I will work my way up to the top. So why is this a myth? Because it sounds so good, right? Why is this a myth? Here's, I'm, I wanna go through a couple of, of, um, of key ones, okay? Time time. You do not know how much, lo how long it's going to take. You have no idea. They can make whatever promises they're going to make. But the thing is, you might they say in your mind, working my way up is a five-year endeavor or even a 10-year endeavor. But you don't know. You don't have that level of control over any company. So whatever happens is going to happen. And guess what? The minute there's a downturn, the minute there's a shift, the minute there's anything, any idea of you doing that is going to go off uh, the rails. Secondly, you can't work your way up more than once. What are you gonna do? Every job that you have, you're gonna go back to square one, take a massive haircut in terms of your salary and your responsibilities and work your way up? That's ludicrous. You're gonna run out of time. Quite frankly, you're gonna be dead long before that that happens, right? So time is a big issue. Here's another one, which I touched on. Switching bosses and switching strategic priorities, right? Your boss may be, uh, at the, right now, might be someone who is like absolutely your biggest fan. They love you. They would stand up for you. They would put in a good word for you. They would help you rise up. But what if that guy gets fired or that person gets fired, right? What if the entire um, rationale of the company pulls like an IBM, right? They go from what was a hardware manufacturer into a software and a coaching and whatever it is that IBM does now, they completely changed. Well, if I specialized in what the previous business model was, not only am I not gonna move up, I'm probably gonna get fired. It's only a matter of time, right? You don't control these things. And no matter what the, the uh, a company or an employer might be saying, especially in hiring, when they're trying to placate you by saying, nope, you're, we're not going to give you what you actually deserve. We're going to give you this crappy opportunity. Trust me when I tell you, if you were to press them on this, they would have no answer. And if they do, they're lying to you because there is no answer to it, right? Here's another one. Plateauing. The biggest insurance policy you have to keep staying successful in your career is to keep being in situations where at least 30% of the job is new. At least 30% is challenging you. You don't know where the solutions are going to come from, but that's going to bring out your best, right? You cannot experience consistent growth at that level in the same job very, very, very rare over a long period of time, right? I know employers would have you think that that, that companies, uh, that people 
who move around and hop between roles, you know, every two years, three years, what have you, are somehow traitorous. They're not traitorous. They've just seen, they've made the most change happen that they could. There's no clear way forward. So they got to leverage that, right? They're, they're looking out for their own best interests, right? You should too, I suggest. So plateauing is a big problem because if you think 10 years from now, you're going to get the top seat. Well, that would mean every one of those 10 years needs to have at least that 30%, 40% growth. And it's not going to, which means that the more time you spend plateauing between these things, right? The more time you spend here, the further away that goal becomes. So 10 years becomes 15, 15 becomes 20. And guys, what are we talking about then? Right? That, that, that is absolutely ridiculous. It's never going to happen. Right? So plateauing is a big problem. Time is a problem. Switching bosses and strategic priorities is a problem. Plateauing is a problem. The most uh, important um, one, or probably the most devastating one in, in my mind, is uh, even if you didn't have those problems, whatever company you started out at, uh, on some level, they're never going to stop seeing you as the, the person they took a chance on. No matter how qualified you've gotten or the fact that you got your MBA and you gained all this experience and, and you've been working with these tier one clients and you've been doing all of these things, they still on some level think that they did you a favor. They did you a favor. They gave you the opportunity to do this, right? So on some level, I'm never going to see you. What? I'm going to see you at the top next to me? No, I don't think so. Okay. You're the guy who started out over there. All right. Stay in your place. All right. Don't bite off more than you can chew. There's a patronizing element that comes into things when you see an employee who has outstayed his welcome, really. And, and, and he's the only or she is the only one who now believes that there's going to be an opening, right? They will patronize you. They will, they will tell you the right things. You will not believe them because they don't believe them. All right. They will not see you the way that you want to be. That's why, again, it is usually the most expedient in those situations to have conversations and move to a, a different entity. Why? Because then you get to recreate your first impression. And your first impression is one of the most valuable things you have professionally, right? With this new one, they don't see this rise up. All they see is someone the way that you want to come across right now. And the more control you have over your brand, the more control you have over your engagement strategy, your relationship building strategy, your messaging, this is all going to add fuel and leverage to the, to the fire. You just can't do that with a pre-existing relationship or an employer, right? Here's the last one. It is ultimately this idea of working your way up. It is ultimately a hiding place for passivity and inaction. Because what it does is not that dissimilar to what I experienced way back when, in my early 20s, when I was a working actor, film and TV actor. I was entrusting that agent to handle everything. And guess what? No company, I don't care what they say to you, no one cares about you and your family the way that you do. They don't care about you like that. Don't fall for that crap. All right? They don't. But, but if you say these people are going to be the arbiters of my career, I'm investing untold numbers of years working my way up. That is what you're saying. You are saying that me and my family, I'm not strong enough to hold on to that responsibility. You have to do it for me. And not only does that make you look weak and powerless, no one, people will always disappoint you when you put yourself into that zone. The only people who wouldn't are the people who are your family members and your closest and, and your kindest. Everybody else is going to disappoint you. So I know it's tempting to say, I don't have to put myself out there. I don't have to build a relationship. I don't have to risk rejection. I don't have to risk being seen as less than what I may believe myself to be by testing myself out there. But that is indeed your responsibility if you are serious about a better life. That is indeed your responsibility, not your employer's responsibility. Take that responsibility seriously. In my opinion, that should be priority number one. More than any job you're working right now, how can I use this? The idea is to mine and sell. Mine, gain the experience, gain the things that you're ga gaining, but understand that usually the place to leverage this is not going to be one and the same. It's going to be somewhere else. Mine it, sell it somewhere else, right? Uh, guys, if this is um, resonating with you, if this is valuable to you, I would hope it is. It is very different from what is out there. Hop on over to helloanish.com, H-E-L-L-O-A-N-I-S-H.com. Watch the masterclass I've, I've synced up there. Watch the videos that will take you down into this rabbit hole. We get feedback all the time from viewers just like you who are pulling off game changers by doing just that. Don't give up on yourself. Keep moving forward and keep the questions coming. Have a wonderful day.